Hello, I'm Tom Hathaway. I'm wearing my VA hat, so let's talk business analysis. In this knowledge nugget, I want to introduce the concept of use cases as a tool for defining user interaction requirements. Since this is an interactive knowledge nugget, I will also give you an opportunity to try your hand at creating a version of a very simple use case. These techniques will help you when you are the one wearing the BA hat. Defining a proposed information technology or IT application can be a daunting challenge. Whether you're tasked with defining a brand new application or making changes to an existing one, an immense number of decisions awaits you. One of the very early and critical decisions you have to make is how you will represent the requirements that the solution must fulfill. Ensuring that both the business community and the developers share a common understanding of the requirements is notoriously difficult. Any standard method for structuring the communication between these two parties drastically reduces the probability of miscommunication with all of the related costs and misery. The use case paradigm is one specific method that you should have in your repertoire of tools for representing how the proposed application should interact with the external world. Use cases were introduced as a method for defining requirements for IT solutions in the late 1980s by Ivar Jakobsen, and they spread like wildfire. Like all great techniques, practitioners have modified, augmented, adapted, and otherwise refined the basic concept over the years, and most of the add-ons are valuable in the proper context. Regardless of the context, one of the common pillars of all use cases is that they define the interaction between two or more entities, called actors in use case parlance. This correctly implies that the use case paradigm is not well suited for defining systems lacking interaction, i.e. batch processing. To address the communication issue, a use case is often presented in plain text and as a diagram. The use case description represents the interaction between involved actors textually at an appropriate level of detail. The use case diagram is a visual representation of one or more use cases depicting the actors, stick figure symbol with the name actor below it, and their connections, a simple solid line, to the use case, an oval with the name of the use case inside it. Due to the intentional simplicity of the use case diagram, it is considered optional in many organizations. It does, however, provide a great tool for representing the context of the use case in relatively intuitive symbols. The diagram is particularly useful if the use case involves a lot of different actors, which is often the case in embedded and real-time applications. Here's a very simple little exercise to demonstrate the use case concept. You need access to a cell phone to complete the exercise. 